I do a lot of work in Africa. I was out one weekend driving around and I was way out in the country, way out in the middle of nowhere. I came to an intersection, it was two dirt roads, and I came to this intersection. And over there in that field, there was a shipping container. A, a shipping, you know, what you see in a port. And I kind of looked over and a person walked out of it. And another person walked into it. This container was the local cellular office where you could buy a phone, get your card recharged, uh, turn your phone in for repair, just talk to somebody about a problem if you wanted to. If you hopped over the counter, there was a wall. Behind that wall was the local cellular switch that provided service for this area. And just outside the shipping container was a mast, a radio mast, that provided a wireless connection back to the nearest exchange or central office. When I talked to people at the local cellular company, what I learned was that they went to one of the big shipping companies on the coast, over at Durban, over on the, on the east coast of South Africa. And they said, we need five or 600 of these containers, and we need you to put them in all of these locations, and we don't want to pay for them. And of course, the company said, and this is good for me because, and they said, well, because we're going to use them for housing infrastructure for telecommunications. We're gonna give people telephony, we're gonna give them internet access. And the reason we're gonna do that is because it will enable the growth of business. When you enable the growth of business, it also enables the growth of crafts and art and light manufacturing, all of which have to be shipped. And the company said, how many do you need and where would you like them? Costa Rica has made efforts to, to distribute, um, to make computers accessible to children at school for a long time. But only now we are seeing the connectivity issue of those computers. Last week we were called because they distributed 1,000 laptops to different uh, rural, very small secondary schools, and they bought the latest notebooks with, with 3G uh, modems, and they gave the computers out with, with uh, the cards to, to have uh, data connectivity but the computers are in places where there is no data connectivity. So although they got the latest appliance, we had to ask uh, one of the service providers to help us out with uh, VSAT connectivity. And they went out and put uh, a VSAT, which is considered a rather old style type of connectivity. And last Tuesday we were testing the, 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 the connections and it worked wonderful and they were all sitting in the grass or in class, everybody using, using their computers and they were happy with, with this connectivity. Fundes is a private organization that was created 26 years ago and always, always with the focus on micro, small and medium sized businesses. At the moment we work with something like 6,000 shops between Mexico, Bolivia, Panama and El Salvador. We have a sales increase of over 30%, the number of customer increases by 47%, cost reduction of 7%. The results are absolutely astonishing because of the good work that we try to do, but also because it has been a totally abandoned sector. Nobody ever did anything for those small shop owners. And it really wouldn't have been possible without the use of telecommunication uh, technology. The developing world is where the growth is going to occur. The developing world is where we're going to see leapfrogging taking effect because they don't have existing infrastructure that they have to figure out how to get out of before they get into the new stuff. They're going to go straight to the new stuff and they're going to have all those benefits from day one, just like that. It's going to be a remarkable thing to watch.